Hi guys. So I've had this YouTube account for quite a while now, but I haven't really used it for anything. Um, and a few days ago I thought I might as well start making vlogs. Now I'm not really a natural when it comes to speaking to the camera. I actually find it quite silly and weird. Um, so I have to get used to that. But um, the main reason I'm actually doing a vlog today is because uh, a couple of days ago I had a really, really nice day and I thought I'd tell you about it a bit. Any teenager around my age or younger or a bit older uh, would know that um, this month is the month of exams and revision and studying and that's what I've been doing as well over the past few weeks. It's really not fun. Um, in fact, I find revision really, really boring but um, it's something that has to be done. But yeah, on Saturday, which was a couple of days ago, two days ago basically, I decided to take a break from revision and do something fun. It was a really last minute thing. I mean, I was just sitting around watching some TV on Friday night when I suddenly remembered that Friday was the 7th of May 2010. And that made me realise that the day was Saturday was the 8th of May 2010. And then I remembered that that's a very important date because the last time that I saw Carrie Ellis and uh, Wicked, the musical, was exactly a year ago from that Saturday. It was on the 8th of May 2009. And that was the very last time that I saw one of the best performers, in my opinion, in the musical Wicked, which is my personal favourite musical in the world. So yeah, I thought that it was a pretty important date. So I, after a bit of thinking, I decided that I should go and try and meet Carrie Ellis on Saturday. Um, and that's what I did. Now I've known Carrie Ellis as a performer for quite a few years now. Um, I mean, the first time I saw her in Wicked was back in 2007, summer of 2007. But I never had really got the chance to meet her. Um, properly, so um, I was quite excited about it, even though I was also a bit nervous because I didn't really know what to say and stuff. I was excited. Because it was such a last minute thing, however, I wasn't really ready for it. So I kind of just woke up on Saturday morning and just went to um, the theatre to see Carrie Ellis, which was quite weird. But yeah, I managed to meet her um, before sh her matinee show. And it was really nice. She was really, really lovely, and I got her to sign a few things. Uh, no, not a few things. Just my ticket, and I got a picture with her, which was really cool. I'm kind of annoyed at myself though, because I pretty much forgot everything that I was going to tell her. Um, I'd kind of, I'd planned the, the night before. I was like, oh, okay, when I meet her, I'm going to tell her this and that and that. I'm going to tell her how amazing she was in Wicked and how amazing she she is in Oliver right now. And I literally just, just forgot everything. I, I even forgot to wish her a happy birthday. But then again, I always go really, really quiet when I meet people I admire. And that's just the way I am. I literally go really quiet and just quite a shy, quiet person. But when I meet people I like, as in people I admire, um, I'm just like, I don't really know what to say. But yeah, she, she was really lovely, and um, you can see my ticket here. And I told her that the last time I seen her in Wicked was exactly a year ago, and she was like, wow, that's really cool. And yeah, this is a ticket, it's from the 8th of May 2009, which was an amazing performance of Wicked. It's probably, probably my favourite performance of Wicked, actually, ever. So yeah. That was really cool. But that's not where the coolness ends. Also on Saturday, I got to see Jedward again. Um, John and Edward, the twin brothers of the X Factor, the brothers that loads of people don't like, and I've loved them since the very beginning. And um, I hadn't seen them since uh, March, so it was really nice to see them. I uh, met them, and they were like, hi, how are you? And they remembered me, and it was really cool to see them again. So that was also very cool. Because of all these exciting events that happened on Saturday, I. When I came back home, I um, just couldn't really revise or study because I was just thinking about my amazing day and like looking at my photos and stuff. So um, I kind of wasted my Saturday, I suppose, because I didn't do any revision. And then on Sunday, yesterday, I had to do loads of revision. Like I did like 10 hours of revision on Sunday and had to go, go went to bed really, really late because I didn't do anything on Saturday. But yeah, I think it was worth it, and I, it was really cool, and I'm really glad that it happened. I had an exam this morning, human cell. It wasn't actually too bad. It could have gone better. So um, yeah, I've got another exam on Thursday, but I'm seeing Westlife at the O2 the night before, so that's a bit worrying, <laughs> but hopefully I'll be fine. I finished my exams on the 2nd of June, and after that I'm planning on doing loads of loads of fun stuff for the summer, so I really can't wait. That's all I have for today. Today is Monday, the 10th of May 2010. Bye!